apologize about um, cutting that last video off briefly. However, uh, I did not mean it, but the sound for the rocket effects when it was taking off and all the operational controls, uh, um, it didn't get set. Um, so when I went to launch, it has this nice, big, loud sound. And it also uh, caused me to shriek like a little girl on microphone because the sound is being played through my headphones quite loud so that I can monitor you know, all the levels and everything. Well, that didn't work out so well, so I just kind of cut it off midway. I hope you understand. But um, we're back. We got our little Kerbals, and we're about to uh, launch our giant uh, test satellite into, or our test load into space. Never mind the video. Come on, you're making me look stupid. There we go. Okay. Now let's make sure that we have. Uh, there we go. Spacecraft 2%. Alright. Let's go ahead and start it up. Stay down. Alright. Anyways, there it is. And uh, for those of you that um, didn't see the last episode, basically, this giant part right here is our payload. Uh, this weighs uh, just under 50 tons. And what we did this for is so that we can know that we can lift at least 50 tons into space with this platform, um, or at most 50 tons. And then the rest of these are just stages of different types of uh, rockets. All the center ones are solid, or I'm sorry, liquid fuel. There's a liquid fuel and oxidizer, and the outer ones are solid fuel. Anyways, if you want to find more information about this, then uh, go ahead and watch the previous video, because now we're about to launch. percent knock off grape juice. Alright. Now let's go ahead and set the orbit to 300 kilometers. Activate RCS in 3, 2, 1. That was still kind of loud. But, I mean, you know, it is a rocket. Alright, well, uh, I'm not sure what to really explain right now everything's pretty much going as uh, as planned. set auto stage so that uh, it'll automatically stage when the 
rockets run out of fuel. has to be one of my only rockets that's uh, not reaching terminal velocity, which is a good thing, uh, in my opinion. Most of mine just tend to try to fly up out of the atmosphere and still have a lot more fuel left. I like it when, when it expends its fuel completely right at a staging point. As you'll see, our solid fuel is getting quite low, and so we're about to transition. And there we go. Now those are going to fall away, and we're now relying on these last two. what our turn is. Our turn is going to be at 30 kilometers, so we still got some ways to go. I have a pretty good feeling that we're going to um, exhaust the solid fuel right around the time we exhaust the liquid fuel too, which again is a good thing. Approximately 40 seconds left of burn time on stage 6. Um, and this is showing us that we'll have 11 seconds extra of burn time on our liquid fuel rockets after we jettison our solid fuel. Um, this is good because uh, within 32 seconds we won't have reached uh, 30,000, or I'm sorry, 3, I'm sorry, 30 kilometers which means that um, we won't have to worry about turning into any of our jettisoned components. Alright, we're coming up on 20 seconds left at mark for solid fuel. ETA for solid fuel jettison, 10 seconds at mark and mark, and we're kind of cutting it close here on the solid fuel remaining, although, yeah, it's lower than liquid fuel, alright, approximately 3 seconds until jettison of the sol uh, remaining solid fuel. And one second, and jettison. And cleared the thrusters. All right, now we have approximately nine seconds left on our liquid fuel. This is uh, kind of quieter, it seems. If you'll notice, right here, I do have them separated in the stages. As I explained last time, I kind of combined them. I do this so uh, it doesn't blow the stage below it up. Because if you'll watch, it jettisons. And then it starts up. If you did it all at once, it tends to blow up the, uh, the portion below it. three and approximately 53 seconds burn time and we are coming
coming up on 30 kilometers right now. You should start seeing it turning. Oh, it's going to be tilting away from the coast, and there we go. Now what we're doing here is, um, if you look over here, the AP is going up like it normally is, but now the PE is also being reduced, and since it's a negative, what that'll do is it'll be reduced, um, or it'll be increased actually, until it's the same as the AP. But right now we just have to wait so that we can get a idea of how it's traveling. There you go. Okay, now it doesn't look like we're very high up right here anymore. Once you scroll over, it kind of gives you a perspective on uh, how high up you are. And we're coming up on 30 seconds burn time left on stage three. Looks like we're going to be using all of our stages to get to the 300 kilometer point. And it looks like we're at a 20 second burn time. Although we're almost nearly in vacuum, so it might be closer to 20 seconds right about now. And it looks like our burn is going to get us past, uh, looks like it should get us past 100 kilometers. We're at 96.5 kilometers AP now. Have about five seconds ETA left on this uh, stage three. And it doesn't look like it's going to get us to 100 kilometers. It's actually dropping below. Now this one looks like it might get everything all at once. We're really not wanting to use any of that uh, the orange tank because that's supposed to be our payload, which usually doesn't have any fuel for propulsion. But the way that PE is increasing, I don't think we're going to have any issue with this because we still have about 50 seconds left on burn time on stage one. coming up on 30 seconds remaining burn time on stage one. The AP is 100 kilometers. PE is increasing. 100 kilometers mark. And we have positive PE. Camera's getting used to us being in orbit with a positive orbit. Now it should shut us off right at 300. There we go. Now it's going to reorient us to our PE burn position, or AP burn position. And this should. Oh, we're running out of electrical power. That's why. Yeah, I forgot about that. So now basically what I'm going to have to do disengage autopilot for a second. And then what I'm going to 
mess up my orbit, but I really don't have the electrical power to spare. Transfer some electrical charge to the SCU one control unit. We're going to shut that down and keep this one active. And engage autopilot and hope that our hope that we have enough power left out on 1.39 volts. At least it's quiet now. That's a good thing. Almost didn't end well. So I guess the lesson here is uh, electrical charge is very important in space. Because I am now out of power. Well, it looks like it's the end of this episode. We'll go ahead and uh, bring it on around to the right side. So we can see our thumbnail. Yes, Alpha, you're equally as responsible. <laughs> All right. All right, well, there we go. Uh, main problem here is that I didn't uh, plan ahead and I didn't put any batteries on it. So it looks like this episode is over. Um, lesson learned, add batteries, add solar panels. And, yeah. Well, I'll see you for the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.